Hey guys, welcome back to a new section. Previously, we discussed reusable transformations in Informatica. We also discussed various utilities present in Informatica Power Center. In this section, we'll talk about the various tasks and advanced topics of the Workflow Manager screen. We'll start her with a discussion on various tasks. Later, we'll talk about worklet, parameter files, and scheduling, as well as other utilities in Workflow Manager, types of tasks, now we're going to learn what task is and the types of tasks and how to create various tasks in Workflow Manager or Task Developer. Starting with various tasks, tasks are basic building blocks of workflows. Every task has a different functionality as every transformation in Designer. We need to use a task per our requirement in Workflow or Worklet. Tasks can be created as reusable or non-reusable components. You could create a reusable task in Task Developer and non-reusable in Workflow Manager before we go into detail, let's get a brief understanding of the different tasks we have. Session. It's used to execute a mapping. Email. Used to send success or failure email notifications. Command. Execute Unix Perl scripts or commands. It can also be used for executing DOS commands in Windows. Timer. Used to add some time gap or to add delay between two tasks. Assignment. To assign a value to workflow variable. Control. Used to control the flow of workflow by stopping or aborting the workflow in case of some error. Decision. Used to check the status of multiple tasks. Hence, control the execution of workflow based on the condition defined in decision task. Event wait. To wait for a particular event to occur. Usually it's called file watcher task. Event raise. Used to trigger user-defined events. Link. Used to link tasks to each other. You can also define conditions in the link to control the execution of workflow. Before we move on, let's talk about an important topic. Let's say we have two workflows, WF Workflow 1 and WF Workflow 2. WF Workflow 1 contains a session task and a command contains a session and command task. We have a requirement that WF Workflow 1, upon successful completion, should trigger WF Workflow 2. This means that Workflow 2 has a dependency on Workflow 1, so Workflow 2 should run after Workflow 1 is successfully complete. A couple of important terms, parent workflow and top level workflow. For session and command task, WF Workflow 1 will be called a parent workflow. Workflow 2 will act as a parent workflow for session task and email task. For WF Workflow 2, WF Workflow 1 will be called a top level workflow because WF Workflow 2 is in turn triggered by Workflow 2. Because there's a dependency set up on Workflow 1 and Workflow 2, understand an important aspect here. Workflow 1 will be successful only upon successful completion of Workflow 2. The status can be identified in the monitor screen. After we create the task, we can configure the options on the General tab of every task. Every task has similar properties related to controlling workflow in the General tab. Fail parent if this task fails. When this option is checked, the workflow or worklet will fail if the task in that workflow or worklet fails. Fail parent if this task does not run. The workflow and worklet will fail if the task does not run. Disable this task. The task in the workflow or worklet will become invisible and will not run in the sequence. Treat input link as AND or OR. When you check this option, Informatica Power Center will run the task if all or one of the input link conditions are true. This is nothing but AND or OR operator in the properties. 